Nate Gibson gets seriously sick after diving and swimming at a 4th of July party in Happy Days, North Carolina. His mom, Claire, rushes him to a local hospital, but he's so ill that they have to take him to a hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. Doctors diagnose him with meningitis, a severe condition causing brain swelling and seizures. Nate's big sister Katie tells him firmly that he can't give up. Four years later, Nate is alive but quadriplegic, unable to move his body, and feels really sad. He attempts suicide. Claire contacts CE Bus, a group training animals to help people, and they give Nate a capuchin monkey named Gigi, rescued from a California zoo, to be his emotional support. Gigi quickly adjusts to her new home, but it takes time for her to connect with Nate. When Katie comes home from college, she doesn't like Gigi. The family dog Banjo causes chaos by chasing Gigi around the house. Nate overhears his parents arguing about him and Gigi, so he suggests giving her back. Surprisingly, Gigi starts helping Nate with exercises, improving his mood. As Gigi and Nate go out, an animal rights activist records them in town. Nate meets Lori again, and they are invited to a college party. Videos from the party become public because Nate has many followers on Instagram. An animal rights group protests outside Nate's home, wanting to ban capuchins as service animals. They get a hearing, and despite Nate speaking up for capuchins, the decision goes against him, and he has to give up Gigi. Claire throws away Gigi's things, but Nate's grandmother finds out that North Carolina allows capuchins as service animals. So, the family decides to move back there. A year later, during a 4th of July barbecue at their new home, Nate reveals that he got accepted to college with a full scholarship, where he can have Gigi as his service animal.